Hello Exo Academy. In this course uh, I'm going to review some setting options that I like to uh, implement before I install a new version of ExoCAD. The next release of ExoCAD is coming up soon and so I want to make sure that my database settings are correct so that when I install the new version uh, I'm not having to reinstall new da new databases or have uh, files in different locations. So uh, what I mean by this is I'm going to show you my uh, hard drive here. What I mean is I have right now I have four versions of ExoCAD installed including the latest uh, version 2.4 release candidate or beta beta version but I don't want a separate database uh, within each of these so for example uh, the 2018 release I don't want a bunch of patients in that CAD data folder and then go to a different version uh, and have a bunch of other patients um, I want to have all of my cases in a centralized folder, centralized location. So on my hard drive I just have a generic CAD data folder and that has all of my cases in it. So I can use any version and they all use the same database. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm also going to show you, uh, if you saw it in my CAD data folder, that my folders are arranged by the patient name and uh, shade. And so I'm going to show you how to change that. So instead of having cases sorted by uh, ID number, you can have them named with the patient name. Um, and that way I can search uh, more easily and find the specific case that I need. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First, what we do is uh, we go to our ExoCAD installation that we're going to change. So in this instance, um, let's just do the beta version of version 2.4. The dental DB folder and I believe config. In there we're going to go to default settings dash DB dot XML. Before we alter this, I would suggest that you make a backup copy of this. So just copy and paste this, so uh, we don't you don't lose anything. Uh, you don't you know break ExoCAD. So in default settings dash DB, um, it looks it, it is an XML file, um, but that can be edited in any text editor. So you can open it with WordPad or Notepad and all it is is a text file. But you can see right here the data storage path. The default setting is uh, dot dot CAD dash data and I've changed that to C drive slash CAD data. So that means the dot the dot dot uh, like you see down here means the ExoCAD installation folder. So uh, whatever folder you have put that in, whatever folder dental uh, DB is in, that's what the dot dot represents. Period, period, slash. So I just changed that to the C drive. C slash CAD dash data. So now all of my data gets put in that C drive folder instead of this specific ExoCAD version folder. You can also change this to where it is a network drive. So if you make a network drive like on a central server uh, and rename that, uh, map that network drive as to say the X drive or the T drive, S drive, whatever letter you use, um, this XML file can read that. So you could put X colon slash CAD data and that would go to whatever the you have mapped to the X drive uh, like your network folder 
So for me, I like to keep it all on the C drive, like I said, and, um, and then I back that up to a network server every day. So that's what I do for moving all of the database to, to, to having a single centralized database. And then what I do to rename the, fi the folders and the project files is we scroll down in the default settings dash db xml file. And we get to this area right here and it says keys for file name template and path template and it shows you what the pers what the codes mean so percent d means date percent n means practice number percent p practice name percent f percent l are the patient's first and last name c for country um, s i don't know what that um, word is in german um, and then TC for tooth shade. Um, S, S may be the um, identification number, ID number. In any case, um, I don't use that. What I change is the path template, and this is going to be the um, folder that is made within CAD data when you make a new project. I have you can see percent %d underscore n dash s, that's the um, default path. That's the default. Um, you can see for my path template down here, I have last name underscore first name dash shade dash date. So I know uh, the date that, that I made that project or that I started that project and the patient last and first name. I also put tooth shade in there so I don't have to open the entire project. I can just look at the name of the folder uh, and that would tell me the shade uh, of the tooth that I need to mill. And then the file name template is going to be the name of the dental CAD file within the CAD data folder uh, which is right below. I have those as the same naming convention of last name underscore first name dash shade dash date. Um, so when you change these, that's going to change uh, how your projects are saved within the CAD data folder. So you can put some patient information in there, help you find some projects without having to load up ExoCAD. So those are the two suggestions that um, I make uh, before I install a new version and with this new version with this new release uh, coming up I would suggest that you do something like that to make it more convenient for you easier for you to find your projects in the future thanks so much for watching and have a great day